you right now. You know, Jeremy, China has criticized the test and says it will lodge a complaint, but you know, other nations have been urging Beijing to do more. So the question is, what else can the Chinese government do? Well, Beijing is seen as unlikely to follow up with strong action because its influence is limited and it believes the United States and South Korea share responsibility for growing tensions in the region. And besides, even if it's willing, some analysts say that Beijing appears increasingly unable to influence North Korea. Um, for instance, they think that Beijing will not cut off economic ties completely from North Korea as that would make China vulnerable to North Korea threats as well as a potential collapse of the North. Now, the collapse of uh, Mr. Kim's government would put would also put soldiers from South Korea and and its U.S. ally right on China's border. That's a scenario which Beijing's leaders want to avoid. And still, uh, relations between Pyongyang and Beijing have been frosty uh, since uh, Mr. Kim Jong Un succeeded his late father as leader of the country. Now, Mr. Kim has never visited China as a leader, nor has he met. Chinese President Xi Jinping, despite reportedly lobbying to do so for several years. And in March, uh, China joined the international community in placing the toughest ever sanctions on the country. Now, that's believed to have caused some form of economic hardship on the North, and that's probably as far as China will go. Now, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hua Chunning declined to say if China will support new toughest sanctions on North Korea. She also said that she had no information to provide on whether Beijing received advance warning on uh, the test. Uh, Cho Sun-hui, North Korea's negotiator for the stalled talks on Pyongyang's nuclear program, visited Beijing this week. And some analysts had said that she would uh, have had direct knowledge about a forthcoming test and would be tasked to pass on a heavily implicit message to Beijing.